Hello there friends. I have done a video for um, today which is the um, super full moon um, for April 7th 2020 and um, it's a great reading. I pulled three cards um, and the first card is Six of Air and the second card is the World and the third card is Six of Water and I wanted to share with you what this reading means. So with Six of Air, which I'll hold up for you, Six of Air is about being in transition. We're at sea right now and we're catching the air and the waves on our collective attention to an intention. So in order to steer our ship to the new land that we are creating as we step forward, we must place our attention on the intention we wish to see. And we send it forth out onto the air, into the ethers, on the wings of the angels, the Holy Spirit, our souls, and us as a collective of humankind. And we do this by focusing on the world that we wish to co-create. We can do this. We are human beings. It's our birthright to co-create with our souls and with spirit. I believe in you. Join me in prayers of loving gratitude. All around you are wonderful things occurring. These things may be small, but they grow as you choose to focus on gratitude. Gratitude is sticky. The more that you send out, the more you receive in return of the good things. So steer the ship with your attention on the intention that you wish to see in your life. It is turbulent times. Yes, it is. And within that turbulence is opportunity to co-create a new way forward. We don't have to follow the same currents any longer. We're at sea on transitioning to something better that we are creating by our attention to intention. The second card is the world. The world beckons us to acknowledge that we are in transition to something better. Heads up, buttercups, because we can do this. We can do this. 
So, the world awaits us, and we must first pass through that corridor to get to it. And we create that corridor through our attention to our intention. What we have to do, intention cannot be created by focusing on outcomes. We have to focus on being grateful in the moment and send forth our loving gratitude. I send loving gratitude to you, to humankind, to the world, to the inhabitants of earth, and to the earth. I send this intention, this loving gratitude from my heart to yours on a ray of green light to you, to humankind, to the world, to the inhabitants of the earth, to the earth. I send from my mind to your mind. I send loving gratitude to you, to humankind, to the the world, to the inhabitants of the earth, and to the earth on a violet ray of light. I send loving gratitude from my spirit, my soul, my heart, my mind on a ray of golden white light with platinum to you to humankind. To the world. To the inhabitants of the earth. And to the earth. I send you loving gratitude. We are anchoring something new as a collective of humankind. And it is a lot of work. And it is scary. It's really scary to be in transition to something new. Being the heroes of our own story requires courage, and we have that. We have what it takes because we are human, and that is something amazing. The next card that I drew. is six of water. Oh, six of water is so focused on the good old days, nostalgia and memory and emotional memory and emotionality and prone to hysteronics. That is not the way to bring something new into the world. It is important to acknowledge our memories, acknowledge our emotions. 
what we get that once something is passed, once we've passed through something, even though time is on a continuum, we as human beings experience it very linearly. So once time has passed, there is no going back. You cannot recapture that which once was. You can only create something new. And that is where we're at right now. So focus on feeling your feelings and letting them go. A tool to deal with our feelings uh, is called Ho'oponopono. And it really goes like this. You say, I love you. I am sorry. Or whatever you feel from your heart. Please forgive me. Name that which you wish, wish, what you wish to forgive or you wish to let go. And then you express gratitude. Thank you. This is a time to focus on going forward. Love more. Expect miracles. Because you are a miracle maker. Through your own attention to intention. Through transitioning and sailing toward a new way creating the new earth as you step forward. Acknowledge the past and let it go and move into something new within yourself. I bless you with love. I will see you again soon. I have used today, we have used the tarot called the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. And the music that we're listening to is Aurora in the background. Happy full moon. Create good things. So much love to you all. There you have.